What's up guys? As I promised, this is gonna be fairy tale online. I know you anime fans out there are like wow, early fairy tale. And pretty much is along the lines of Ultimate Naruto, Naruto Saga, Anime Ninja, you know, Anime Pirates, all those different types of games. It works off of power, and the more power you build up, the better your character is. So you have three different classes right now we can do. We can't do the fourth class for whatever reason. I guess it's not ready. You got the Dragon Slayer and the female Dragon Slayer. You have the elemental mage, and you have the female elemental mage, which is ridiculous. Like, look at that. Like, why is she like? Never mind. <laughs> and then you have the night mage, and the female night mage. Now, I'm not going to actually go into that because I already made a character. I'm just going to show you how to play from my character's perspective. The, all the intro stuff is pretty self-explanatory, so you don't need any help for that anyway. So let's go from my aspect. Now, this is my character right here. I, of course, made a Dragon Mage male. And like I said, the way the game works is pretty much you're building off battle power pretty much like all the rest of the games out there just like it. This is a browser game, so you don't really have to worry too hard or anything about it. But the game is, as of course, free to play, and it has the VIP system like all the other games. So you see I did a VIP system. This is I this is VIP4. I spent ten dollars, the same ten dollars I would have used on Ultimate Naruto from learning from Prize Rebel. So basically, I just didn't do it this week for Project Rebel Ultimate Naruto. I spent it on this because I wanted to learn how to play this game. This game is pretty fun. It fits fairy tale, and you'll just have a lot of fun playing it. There's different things that go on. Um, I, matter of fact, let me spend a little bit of gold to open this up so that it's not full. All right. Okay. So what do you do with this game? Once you get to a point where you start getting all this type of stuff, your main thing is you want to build your power. So you go over here, you go to your character. And I know it looks good sometimes to build up your character's um, gear, but once you get to a point like level 30, you can build it up, but don't necessarily go hard on doing that because the way these games work is you need incremental power and you have to figure out how can I get increased power and stats without spending all my silver. So what you have to do is make sure that you do all the special things that go along with the game. So you see right here, this is called Dragon's Temptation. I believe you get this like around 10, 15. It's free. All you have to do is just pay attention to it and answer questions. Usually the questions really don't have a rhyme or reason why. They could be any which way or other. But just make sure you do it because it's part, it's part of leveling because you get free things for doing this. So you have to make sure you do that. You also have the online gift. The online gift is what you get every time like so it's time like see like this is not 30 minutes i'm gonna get this you have to make sure you always do that these are free things that you must always do if you want to keep up with the joneses in a game like this because people are going to pay their way to the top but you can actually be good like to pay to win people if you actually do everything in the game now you also have the rainbow tree the rainbow tree works pretty much as far as it levels as you use it and it levels the more friends you have who actually water it for you so you see mine is level 12 so I'm actually going to spend six gold coins and get money. So you see, this is my um, coins. I have 11 million um, silver coins right now. I'm saving. I stopped leveling uh, um, my gear, as you see, you know, enhancing the equipment again right here. Like I could enhance my equipment up to level 49, but I stopped doing it because I'm trying to save, actually, so I can get different characters. Because you get strong characters. Like I have Mira. Um, which is an S class now. You get her for when you top up ten dollars, and she can automatically be leveled to level seven, even though she's level forty-eight. So I basically have an S class mage right off the bat. She's OP, and I'm going to actually show you in um, in the penta slot, which is another thing. This is basically how you put your group together. Put her in the penta slot, and the reason why you do that because the penta slot right put her in the um the wind penta slot because it, is, it gives you a nine hundred speed when you see attacks first. She AOE's. So, pretty much, let me show you what happens when she AOEs. Um, let's see. Okay, I need to start this over. Return to instance, cause. So I'm gonna go to the first one. Now this is a dungeon. I'm gonna show you again, really, what this is. Cause I know I clicked that kind of fast. It's called the Tower of Paradise. You probably get that around on um, between level 10 to 20. It's hard if you don't have your um group in the right 
way to actually deal with it. But I'm going to show you how I actually go about doing it. Oh, my inventory is full. I got to clean out my inventory a little bit. All right, let's do that. All right, there got to be something I can click on. How about you? All right, that frees up room and that frees up some room. Now you also, also while I'm doing this, you have a warehouse. So you can put things into your warehouse that you don't actually need. Like I'm not gonna um, use this. I'm gonna use this tomorrow because it's free that I got from getting to a certain level, and there's no reason for me to use that right now. So let me. Okay, I realized that was gonna take a little while, <laughs> so I decided to stop the um, video and actually clean my bank out. And as you can see, while what was doing that, this came back again. So I'll make it go again and do what it's gotta do. So now it's 12 minutes. Let's go over each icon really fast before I show you the characters. This, of course, is your character. This is where, where you see all your different characters you have. These are the characters that I have. And you don't really worry too much about it. It just shows you the stats and everything. You can do basic training. Um, when you see a character do this, that usually means that you can do basic training. And sometimes the basic training is okay. Sometimes it's not. So I actually did it. So I'm going to do it again. And see, it's really not all that great. So you just, I could have hit cancel, but whatever. So I'm going to do it again. Just waste a little silver. And see again, it's basically kind of um, gambling to see if you can get more stats ahead. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. You have to kind of determine what you want exactly to be um, your type of training. Like if you want to gamble and you know spend that much silver, you can. Some people do that and do excellent at this. Me personally, I tend to not do that though. Even even though you will get like your supreme strength doing that. Um, of course, this is the inventory. You can actually, you know, extend it by spending gold. You do get a good deal of gold in this game compared to other games. So just save up your gold, and you can kind of like open up your inventory. You also have the warehouse, which is this is what you get standard. And I haven't really found the need to actually go that far beyond what I have right here and right here. Let me put this in there. Cause I don't need that either. All right, let's get that out of here have your friends tab of course all the friends like people just spam friending me because of the um the rainbow tree so you don't worry about not having any friends if you don't have it magic um pretty much magic can be leveled in this game and how you get that is you have to fight different things and um and you also get it from here so you got this right here magic crystals and you get 10 of these every day that you can do and you have to spend um silver to actually do it you can also when you get the um special things that i saw that you uh, i saw that you saw right here you can do that and then get even more so keep that in mind you definitely want your magic to be strong and aoe magic is really strong like mirrors soul destroyer which i'll show you in a bit it's a good AOE, it hits everybody, so i am got that up to level 15, matter of fact, I'm going to give it another couple. Because I really do want that Soul Destroyer to destroy. I want things dead right off the bat. So, that's pretty good. Here, the train is coming again, and then just, I just spent all my magic um, crystals on, my, on her Soul Destroyer. You're going to see why a little bit later. Enhancing, as I showed you before, I... I do that to an extent but when it starts to take away from other things to start the level I don't do that upgrading this you can upgrade yourself as your stats see I'm a rank B right now I need to rank a it literally tells you how to do it if you don't know how to do it you can just ask and chat and somebody will tell you you can upgrade your crew some of your crew like mirror she um I believe yeah she's at her highest rank now so she doesn't go any higher than that but that's good enough she's crazy trust me um, Marco or Mako, he's kind of whack. So this is as high as he goes. Um, you have Leon, which he's reached his highest rank, and he's just good for now. As soon as I start getting A rank people, which is the reason why I'm saving up my silver, because the A rank people are going to be a bigger upgrade than me upgrading my gear. So once I get the A rank people, then I turn around and start worrying about upgrading gear. It's kind of how it works with this with these games. I have Elgor who's at his highest rank too. Now see, like these, all these four right here, they're one-way tickets. That's it. They're not gonna get any higher. So you just get geared to upgrade them. But Natsu, he can go because you know he's the protagonist of the show. He can go up to A. So what I need to um, upgrade him to A is I need to get these from 
the mage grinder or, or you can get them from a boss fight if you rank high enough i'm working on that as you see how this leveled um mirrors damage up oh, significantly just now um and that's about it you can also train their potential with these things you saw that have my bank when you do that you get attribute bonuses it's kind of a gamble and you see that i guess like the norm for all this and actually i didn't do him let me let me i'm gonna do that right now i thought i took care of him already okay uh, let me take this out of the bank glad i'm talking to you guys while doing this that's a good thing see that do a video and you see something that you don't do so now i'm gonna gamble and try to get the 28 so they gave me a 22 i'm not having that there we go 28 got it right there now you can get 29 or 30 which is very rare so i'm not even gonna waste my stuff i'm just gonna leave it at 28 right now you see that up my battle rating so now leon he's he's, he's doing his thing now all right so let's go to penta now you see I, putting people in the right spot is beneficial to you like I said, I want to um, mirror to go first. So basically, she's going to do her AoE attack first before the fight even like damn near starts. So she's decimating people right off the bat. And my main character as the tank, like the main tank, because you get more things to defend yourself with the main character. So it's just best to actually use the main character there. You can put them somewhere else, but I put them there. If you have like a S or A rank character, then of course, and if they're tanky, then put them there, but I put my main character there. And you see, I get the spirit bonus too. I got the earth bonus of putting um, Elagor right here. So he's defense. So even if if somehow all these guys die and it just leaves um, Natsu and um, Elagor, they'll, they'll survive because Natsu is a pretty, he can take a pretty big hit. So I like that. But, you know, do what you want to do with your group. Whatever fits, whatever people that you have, you know, figure it out from there. All right. Um element the elements is yeah as you can see like you basically put this is just another way to actually spin these that you get from fighting different things and you can pretty much determine what type of character you want the character to be like you want it to be a speedster you want um, extra hit points or tanking or stuff like that so you would just work on these two and then leave these two out but me like i said i want mirror to be badass so i'm putting my little points into that next up we have bounty bounty pretty much if you're in the guild bounty works towards the actual guild and it allows the guild to level up it's also an extra source of exp as you can see here you get you know 50,000 exp you get contribution towards your guild and you get reputation for doing it so works pretty well when you're in between levels like you're stuck somewhere you need to get to the next level and you can't pretty much um you don't have any type of real quest and you see my stamina actually is getting all the way to 100 i actually want to do something pretty soon so i don't be wasting stamina because stamina is how you do different things how you go into elite dungeons how you do quests and stuff like that you always want to be out of stamina basically because that way you won't be wasting it because when you're at 100 you don't get any more it just stays at 100 so everything after that is just a waste so guilds you see i made one guild just to bs and um the way guild works is you can buy things in the guild as you see guild shop and everything you can buy gear as your guild gets stronger you get better gear yeah guild, stop that damn it all right here we go you can buy buffs and pretty much you know i can buy this buff it gives me increased um five percent and dungeons and everything like that i don't need that right now because i'm not doing it you got guild management and as you can see here, this is how it looks for a guild and everything. And somebody actually wants to, yeah, I'll be nice to him and let him in. And as you can see there, now there's two people in the guild. I just made this today, so it's funny that somebody wanted to come in already. So it's whatever. Um, see, and now it basically shows who the strongest mages of the guild, which being that I was the only one, and then I'm like over 49, and the person's over 35. I'm the strongest right now, so it just shows me. So you can kind of compare or fight the person. And that's it. That's it for guilds. Oh, you have the bounty quest stuff, which I showed you already. And as you know, once you do that, you can come here. And then uh, that just basically helps level the guild, like I said. So you also have key, which is just a basic, another way of actually leveling up your character. You can, don't ask me, just go. 
you can do stuff like that like all these you just sell these and you get your silver back but what you're looking for which it's like there you go a key they have different stats and what you can do is you one click sell and then I'll say equip keys which I didn't pick the key up but whatever you have keys that do different things like this one it gives me 4,000 hit points this one gives me defense and this one gives me hit rating what you want to do is you see how they have like the experience right right here it's a 20 or 200 you want to level them and how you level them basically is let's click obtain and I would take this key it only has 10 experience you would take the key and drag it onto another key and basically that eats the key and I gave it 10 more experience it's pretty much how that works and how you level um, the keys so like I said keep that in mind like don't go overboard because you need money like I said to get better characters better characters are the most important thing that you can do in games like this make sure that you're always trying to get them now the pet is another um, sink which I still don't didn't really understand why it's so expensive but 200 um silver and i'm gonna spend it just to spend it as a waste but it helps level your character and it increases your main character stats so i'm gonna do that now and basically you got the pet up to 121 so I'll, I'll just spend and get it up to 200 i'm pretty good with the money right now and there we go i just level it up and you see it just upped everything and my pretty much my battle rating went up which is pretty good being that this is the tank anyway that helps that helps a lot um and then we have gems gems um i haven't found many gems so far but when you find them and again they give stats and they can be level one two three or four depending on what you find so i have don't really have much to tell you on that because i haven't found many i only had two all this time that's it also don't forget to always try to be afk training if you're not doing anything this is why it's good for things that work you don't actually have to look at the game you can put it here and the character will just stand here and be leveling now of course you have delete instance this is just a like a dungeon type of thing you can go in here and take it on to see if you can win which helps you get different types of gear this type of stuff which works in your trade skills which i'll show you that towards the end you have the magic shot where you can buy different magic for your different characters. Make sure that your character is within the rank that actually use it. As you see, rank required B and stuff like that. So don't make sure you don't waste trying to buy um, magic and then the character can't even use it. Mining crystals, I showed you that already. You have the daily sign in with the self exploring so you just click on that. You have the online gift, I showed you that already too. The newbie handbook is pretty good because you get gold right here by making sure that you click everything right here and it teaches you the basis of the game so always pay attention to this stuff it just you know gives you a good heads up on everything and then when you do that you hit claim and then you get five gold so pay attention to that you have events and most of these events um i think are old this is basically before the server started so there's nothing i can really do for that so i just ignore that you have the garden which i slack totally on doing that garden is just basically you can click this and then choose somebody i'll choose mirror and then right there then you come back in a little bit amount of time and harvest it now you can do that over and over again until you run out and for whatever reason i can't extend i don't know why but it's a simple little thing that you know gives you extra silver magic institute is kind of like stats again um, you see I leveled mines as high as I can get them it can't go any higher than 10 it's pretty expensive I mean, I'll click this one even though it's gonna make me f like cringe see like that game right there like I really don't care about the hit rating right now so I'll just click that one more time Let's see like it doesn't even really give you that many stats but you know you might run up to somebody I guess who's gonna dodge I don't even see a dodge stat in this game but okay so I guess something will dodge eventually until my online gift came back. And you do this again. As I told you, this is Dragon's Temptation. So what I'm going to do now is get into actual gameplay. The rest of the stuff. Oh, group instance. Um, group instance, it will start flashing for you at a certain point in time of day. And you'll be your main character with a group of, with two other people. And you'll take on, you know, different dungeons. And it's pretty cool. And you have the arena. 
which the arena is a good source of um, silver as well as long as you're strong enough to handle people like I'm pretty strong so I feel bad for coming in here probably picking on this dude yeah he's gonna get blown away by mirror like right off the bat probably as soon as this loads it's taking a little while but there we go so you're gonna see what mirror does you see I just decimated two people like his natsu in the back is basically like finished now granted you don't actually control this but it's basically they're fighting on your behalf and doing what you set them up to do so let me fight another person like you get to see you basically see just the reason why I just basically went all in with Mira because she's so destructive and crazy like it's, it's sickening now he could take a hit so this might actually be a fight he's not gonna win of course but he could take a hit now what goes on is you actually can do like you see what he's gonna beat my characters out to actually doing it but it did like nothing to me but I'm gonna return the favor you get ultimate attacks when you build up rage and when you build up rage um, you do those attacks which are decimating see I might come out here now and now I'm doing mine and so he has a pretty good Natsu but it's unfortunate that he doesn't have a really good team so my guys are just gonna come and just wipe him out so that was actually it was an interesting fight because he had a pretty good um, Natsu and actually he had a pretty good main character but you know Mira just destroyed people off the bat so I'm gonna show you another one alright this might be a little better fight he seems to have a little bit more health load alright and there goes Mira again and yeah he, he can take a hit okay now what you really want to do is have um, characters be fast enough see I need my, um, my speed up on my characters a little bit so they can actually be able to fast on these people but it's alright because I have good defense so it's kind of like whatever even if they are faster I'm still gonna beast out I'm doing my special like he, his main character is actually pretty strong you'll see that's the case of him pretty much probably you know having a good main character yeah his main character is pretty pretty good but he don't have a team so he didn't balance himself well enough or she because that's a she character so I'm basically like it's taken my characters a while but I'm gonna kill him because he doesn't have a strong enough team so that's PvP let's go back out let's go into the paradise dungeon and yes I want to start now this because I got the VIP before I could just skip it all if I really want to but I'm going to show you of course because it's fun again Mira's going to pop up and do her thing pow that's pretty much all she wrote they're, they're not really going to do too much because the next round my guys are going to do their ultimate attacks and it's going to be a wrap like see he's ready to do his ultimate and like they barely can even like harm my main character and actually Natsu killed people before we even got to the next round so that's cool and I'm gonna do my ultimate which did like nothing to them so maybe I need to level up my ultimate and that's pretty much it with fighting there's no reason to watch that any further and that's how that rolls so I hope you guys like enjoyed this it's a pretty fun game and you know you guys just try it out and give it a go it's kind of like any of the other games like I said anime ninjas ultimate um, Naruto and you'll have fun with it trust me I like it um I can't cut the music on because it'll flag on YouTube but other than that be legendary and I hope you enjoyed the video peace thanks for watching another SSG video I'd like to take the time to thank everybody for a million views close to 3,000 subs keep liking keep subscribing and I will keep being legendary for you and keep encouraging you to be legendary so other than that I will catch you guys later and as always be legendary